In this video, I'll show you how to enable or turn on the backlights on a keyboard. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Depending upon what keyboard you have, going and turning on the backlights or just turning on the lights on it is going to vary slightly. However, there are some pretty easy methods we can do to do this. So firstly, you need to make sure if there's any sort of applications or drivers you need for your keyboard, because sometimes with sort of more, I guess, higher spec and expensive keyboards, there's going to be software which is going to run it on your computer, which you can go and open up and then you can go and use to go and customize how the keyboard looks. For example, if you have like a Razer keyboard or a Corsair keyboard, certainly like that is going to have software which you can go and use however on some of sort of like the cheaper keyboards uh, sort of like a hundred dollars and below often there's going to be buttons you press on the keys itself on the keyboard uh, which you can go and do uh, which then goes enables the lights which I'll now go and show you so here's an old keyboard I have here apologies if there's any dust on it um, I haven't used it in a long time in this case I've actually gone and got a button on my keyboard at the bottom which looks like a light bulb and this is the button I press to go and turn the lights on and when I press it the lights then change however this this is going to vary for um, all different types of keyboards. I know for a lot of keyboards, actually there's going to be like a light bulb symbol on the space bar and if there isn't, don't worry as well. And then all you need to do is go and press on the FN button and on the space bar at the same, same time. So the FN button is called the function button and it's usually on the right hand side here. And all you need to do is press it and press on the space bar and that would then go and activate the lights. However, I've got a different button on my keyboard here, but in, I know in a lot of cases that's going to be the case. And also the case for a lot of keyboards is as well, is that you press one of the buttons along the top. Um, so you may have to go and press, for example, the Windows button, which is over here, and then one of the buttons on the top. And from what I've researched as well, you may need to go and press, for example, the Windows button and then the F button or one of the F buttons at the same time as well. Like I said, it is all going to vary. Um, and yeah, and sometimes you need to go and press the FN button at the same time. Or alternatively, you may need to go and press the FN button and then one of the F keys as well. As I said before, it's all going to vary. So what you can do is just test out sort of FN and spacebar or the uh, Windows button and spacebar. Or what you can do as well is if you've gone and ordered your keyboard online, it may be worth contact contacting the manufacturer as there may be like a keybind or there may be a software uh, which you need to go and get. So yeah, guys, hopefully this has cleared it up. If it has, please consider leaving a like. Peace.